Welcome to the next video on SQLite. Today I'm going to talk about the auto increment feature of SQLite. <coughs> uh, the auto increment feature lets you uh, add a, a unique uh, number or an identifier for a field and uh, and if you don't provide it SQLite will automatically generate one for you. So for example let's go into SQLite 3. Okay, now consider the following table. So we've got a girls table, ID, integer, unique, not null. And you see a name is a string. Okay, so you can see the table's been created. Now I'm going to insert into girls. I'm going to put an ID and a name. One second, I think I have to leave a space. And I'll put in values 1 and may. Okay. There you go. Now let's see if I can insert something into. I'm going to insert a, another row into the table, except I'm not going to provide an ID. I'm just going to provide a name. And it says you got an error. And that's because. I didn't I didn't provide a non null value. Okay. Um, and the problem with this table is that uh, if you're using it you have to keep track of which IDs are free and which ones are not. And this becomes a pain in your software. Um, and and it's it's hard. <laughs> so so um, oh, I'll, I'll do one more, and I'm going to try this one, which is insert into table. Actually, just uh, repeat, insert into girls, and I'll say Shay. Whoops. And again, the constraint failed because this one was not uh, unique, because one was assigned to me. All right, so the unique constraint is there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another table with the auto increment feature. So I'm going to go create table boys and I'll have an ID integer except I'll make it a primary key with an auto increment and then I'll again have a name which is a string. Okay now you see both tables are there. Um, then you, I can insert into boys, I'll provide the ID and the name and values 1 and J. And it got in as you can see. There's 1 and J right in the table. Now I'm going to do insert into boys and instead of, I'm not going to provide an ID, I'm just going to provide a name. Hey, and it got in. And in fact, if you check it out, it's two. And um, if I do another insert, whoops, um, and then I do another select, you'll see it automatically allocated uh, an index. And this this insert worked because the ID field was auto incremented. By the way, in PostgreSQL. Instead of auto increment, you'd use the word serial. Um, in uh, MySQL, it's called, um, I think it's auto underscore increment. Um, in SQL Server, that's Microsoft, it's called identity. Uh, in DB2, it's called quote, generated always as identity. Uh, and in Oracle, you actually have to create a separate sequence table and trigger to make it to make this auto generation happen. In fact, that's how SQLite does it too. So now I'm going to show you um, the actual sequence table and how you can manipulate it. So if you go dot schema, and there's a special table called SQLite Sequence. You'll see that there's a table. It's called SQLite Sequence. And it has a name and a field. Oh, sorry, a name and a sequence number. So I go uh, select star from 
SQLite sequence and you'll see you have boys in three and that's because if you go select star from boys you'll see that three is the last one that means the next boy you add will have four so if I go insert into boys name values you'll expect it to have four as the next value let's see and in fact it was four now one interesting thing you can do is you can change which value you're gonna start at and you can change this value anytime so you just go for example update whoops update SQLite sequence set SEQ that's a sequence number equals let's say I don't know 242 where name equals whoops boys not sure if this is going to work so then if I go select start from uh, SQLite sequence whoops let me try that again um, I'll retype that whoops there it is where name equals boys okay, and then I go select star from SQLite sequence you'll see now boys is set at 242 so if I add another boy into this table I would expect the next index to be 243 let's see what happens insert into boys uh, name values Nahasa Pima Pete okay so that one got in select star from boys and bang you got 243 so the nice thing about this feature is that you can always um, you can initialize your database uh, to start at a certain index using the, if it's using the auto increment feature uh, by using this uh, SQL light sequence table and if you need to reset it or whatever you can do that too and uh, that allows you to let the database manage the generation of these unique indices for the fields in a database and it saves your software a lot of work and that is the end of this video I hope you enjoyed it